Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic. Welcome to Fears to Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. This is the second episode of the Fears to Fathom series and the first one you guys seem to like, I liked it. I I kind of hated that I it actually scared me as much as it did honestly because it seems so silly and the lo-fi design and the low graphics and all that like it feels like a game that I'm like this should not be affecting a man of my age, but it does, and and I'm sure this one will as well. So let's go and get into it. I'm assuming, from the looks of it, we're out in the woods, which is going to be awesome. I'm guessing. So yeah, this one. I haven't played. I know this one got a lot of attention. The Iron Bark Lookout, which has been out for a little while now, and I think there's a new one coming up. So, but all right, let's do it. Oh God. Okay. This has been fun. I've been playing a lot of like small indie horror lately. Like I've been playing this. I've been playing Midnight Scenes. I have a couple other things downloaded. Some uh, some Chilla's art games, um, which you're not familiar with those. Uh, they're very popular. They're a small studio that makes horror games. June sixteenth. Yeah, yeah. That that text was going by so fast. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. This happened to me when I was nineteen. I'm a little over twenty one now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. Tell me, tell me your trauma, right? We're all friends here. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. That's fun. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I don't know, see, this, sorry, because I, growing up poor, I always thought plane tickets were insanely expensive, and they can be, don't get me wrong, like, during different times, if you buy them too early or too late or whatever, like, they can be pricey, but I used to think they were, like, exorbitantly the most expensive thing, and especially in years past, it's crazy when you would look at it and you would go, okay, yeah, but with gas prices, the tanks of gas to drive interstate or whatever, is often round trip not that different from a lot of plane tickets. So anyway, just to say, all right, maybe maybe that's true. But also, hey, if he hadn't, if he had taken the flight, he wouldn't have gotten to experience the terror of driving into this horrible little woodsy town where I'm assuming we're gonna get killed. All right, plane ticket would have been too expensive. Oh my god, excuse me too. My throat's really like raspy and dry today because I've been recording like all day. I was doing recording this morning and kind of doing some raspy voice kind of work. So. All right, this convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. I get that. I gotta say, I think people are a little divided on that sometimes, but I would always rather take a longer route if it means it keeps the momentum going. Like, when I've, I've driven around L.A., and there's times where I'm, like, going, you know, north of L.A., south of L.A., all over the place. And there's times where going right through the middle of L.A., the traffic is horrible and even though it's technically the mileage is less and technically it's like five minutes shorter i'll take the longer routes going around if they're less busy if there's less cars on the road because then it might take me 10 more minutes but it's way less stressful like if you know la there's like the 210 which connects like pasadena up to like um like santa clarita area it kind of goes over the top of it and that's one route that's kind of an alternate route if you're kind of going along that way Anytime I'm needing to make a trek across LA towards like, the Pasadena side, like that's a route that I will take if I'm needing to go that way, depending on, you know, where I am or where I'm headed, you know, because going through the middle is just the worst. So anyway, I get it. Take the long way, avoid the traffic, get killed in the forest, write a post about it. That's life, baby. Oh my God. I get to actually drive. Oh, it's letting me do it. <laughs> No, 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 I don't need to get out. I just wanted to know if it would let me do that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I don't need to get out. Excuse me. Back it up. Back it up. Put it in reverse, Terry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Everyone, don't don't worry. Don't worry. You got a professional here. I just got to... Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry, ma'am. I've just been driving for Uber for about two days now. Got my license one day ago. Just kind of... Oh, there we go. Ma'am, there you go. Just make yourself comfy. Oh... Just let me know if you need me to change the temperature. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, just, you know, if you need the temperature change, if you like, the, if you want the radio louder, I know customers love that when I make it louder. Anyone's hold on. I gotta, I gotta check my messages. Hold on. Oh, God, I better stop. Hold on. Oh, good heavens. Oh, good. Stop, stop, stop. You know what? Could you drive while I check my text messages? Messages. Aiden Williams. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam uh, of the country. 
Uh, that sucks. It's not good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, message from Dad. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else leaving now? Drive safe, Holly. Okie dokie. We got two bars of service, so we're fine. All right, come on there. Excuse me, everyone. I will say traffic going in and out of certain places is just the fucking worst. Let's see. Oh, hi there. Hi there. How's it going? Oh, excuse you. <laughs> Do I die because of the car crash? <laughs> Oh shit, oh no. Oh god, is the game crashing? Oh no. Oh, the game ends! Oh no! I'm so sorry. I didn't think they would let me kill myself that quickly in the game. I... <laughs> Let's try that again, everyone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, all right. I thought I was in Great Britain, all right? I didn't know the roads were gonna be the American way. Oh, I thought I was dealing with the metric system. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 19, trauma, trauma, went to a convention. Yes, yes. Yes, you're a fucking wee, but you're driving back. I get it. We've all been here. Um, What's it going to say? Oh, but like, I've been to Vegas quite a bit, and I that's one place I always, no matter what the occasion is, even if I have to save up extra or spend a little bit more, I always make sure that I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Text messages. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I saw him. I saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good heavens. Handling on this thing. But the drive back from Vegas can be brutal if you're doing it during a time when um, there's a bunch of traffic also leaving, like, for a big event. Um, oh, my God. Oh, oh, don't hit him. Don't, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> but I remember the... F oh, Dad, hold on. I'm fucking driving. Also, God, this seems dark as fuck. I don't think there's any... Oh, fuck. Me, I hit the start button and it and it crashed the fucking game. God, you raggedy motherfucker. Okay, we're back, and I swear to God, this shit better work this time. Yeah, I just hit the start button, and that shit crashed, so I will not be doing that again. Yeah, yeah, text messages, blah 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 blah. blah. I know, do do do. Looks good, looks good. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Um, oh, but yeah, I remember one of the times when I was leaving Vegas for. Uh, it might have been the first one we were young fest. I think I don't know. I've been to Vegas a few times, so I don't know exactly which one it was. Oh, excuse me. Oh god. <laughs> um but oh god, the steering this is so wonky. Dad, why? Uh where did you reach? Uh still about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. Um But I remember the traffic on the way back was literally like uh, it was like oh that's an exaggeration. It was like three hours though to get across the border into California, which is an insane amount. Uh, near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Well, damn, bitch, you should have planned better. You took the 12-hour route and didn't get enough fucking gas? What is wrong with you? What the fuck? Um, I don't tell me I'm going to have to get out of the car and walk around this creepy-ass, terrible-ass fucking place. Uh, what, Pops? Papa, what? Oh, do you take that flight? Listen. <laughs> Pops, that's not helpful now. Just send the police right now. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. When you reach back, hope you're feeling all right. Oh, God, Dad, I'm crashing the car. Stop texting and driving, all right? Or stop making me text and drive, I should say. But remember, yeah, that's why, like, now anytime I go to Vegas, I never leave on a Sunday. Um, usually, you know, you're there. All right. Can I just steal that? Oh, that just burst into existence. It's okay, though. All right, here. Let's do this. All right, let's get a little gas. I'm sure it's fine. All right, stop, 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 stop. Stop. All right. But yeah, anytime if I have to be there for any reason, I always make sure... This is this place is not fucking open. What am I doing? And it's so dark here. That's why I was trying to hit the start button. Oh, God. That looks awful in there. That looks creepy as fuck. But I wish I could set, like, the brightness setting higher, but I don't think this game even has a brightness setting, which seems very silly. Um, but yeah, like, this, so that's, that's, that's the lesson. If you're going for a big event, and you can avoid driving back anywhere on a Sunday, you should do it. Why are you walking? Why are you goosed up like that? He just says, hut, hut, right, left. Yeah, what you, what you get? Oh, yeah, do that stretch. Get that drink. Look at you, you handsome three-pixel motherfucker. How's your night going? Where are you headed? Oh, these are my options. That's, that's not him talking. Um, hold on, my mom, he's texting me. Um, how's your night going? He just looked at me. Rude. 
And his shoulder hurts, apparently. He says, I don't got enough polygons to be doing this. Okay. Hey, 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 I'm not done with you and that sweet ass. Come here, come here, come here. Shouty, come on. Don't be like that. Uh, where are you headed? Just looked at me. Y'all are awesome here, all right? Take this and just, just listen here, listen here. Sneak up on you. Oh, shit. Not that. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you see me throw that? Excuse me, sir. Hey, can you help me get me some gas, please? All right, fine. I guess not. <laughs> All right, what was the text? Uh, Mom? You're alive? What? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I can buy things? Give me a cola. Give me that unbranded cola. That no copyright infringement, royalty-free, 330 milliliter cola. Consume that shit. Mm -hmm. I need the caffeine so I can just sprint my way to freedom when all this uh, starts to fall apart. All right, what am I supposed to be doing here? Is there a, a creep at the front too? That's good. Hey, you handsome devil. You know, I want to get close to you. I want to... Do you need this? Give me a pack of smokes. You playing solitaire? Are you winning, son? I really have to stand in front of you or otherwise he doesn't like that. We need to pick something up off the shelf. Bam. How can I get $10 on pump number two? Oh, we're a girl? Oh, I'm just now realizing that. Sorry, I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, this is even worse. Yeah, can I get some uh, some dollars on pump number two? Please? You heading to the bridge by yourself? Kind of a creepy way to ask it, but... um, Huh? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Not ones that come back anyway. <laughs> Be careful. Fuck do you mean, bitch? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Um, okay, give me some gas, I'm gonna turn around. And people who went, look, who's honking? Oh my fucking god. And people who went looking for them never returned. Okay. Oh god, locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. I don't care, I just want to be away from all you motherfuckers. Oh my god, who the fuck is doing that? Oh god, okay. You have anything to say? Hey, you heard- Oh my god, that's gonna drive me crazy. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Oh? Huh? Fucking never- The Norwood Valley Monster, do you know anything? Tell me, tell me! Are those glasses built into your face? Big mistake. You know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck you. You know what? Here, he needs some milk. <laughs> oh my god, fine. Oh, and one more thing, yeah? If you see a woman in white or blue or a blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Why? Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Oh my God, stop honking. God damn. Regardless, she's out for blood. Okay. Whatever you do, whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. I'm going to do it, though. I'm going to do it. I'm a friendly sort. Those people out there on the road putting up their thumbs out, uh, putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Oh, my fucking God. What? Do you have a gun that I can buy from you, store owner, so I can shoot this person? What, mom? What? Is it, oh, 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 now you're leaving after honking like that. You motherfucker. Wait, 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 hold on. Was he over at my car? Oh, I think he was. I feel like he was over at my car. I don't like that at all. All right, what does this say? Um, I don't know if you'll find any sh any shop at the- I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour. We're out of dog food. Can you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. No, don't make me do shopping trips. I'm, I'm fighting for my life, mom. Can I walk any fucking faster than this? Is this my top gear? <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is as fast as I go. Excuse me, y'all got dog food and like a taser or something? Oh, what even is this? What you, what you even got here? What's in the freezer besides bodies? Hey, you got dog food? Is this... Dog food? Yeah, yeah, give me that. Okay, hey, hey, I'm gonna buy this shit. Hey, give me this. You got pumped too. 
Uh, thanks. Here, now I want this, though. Do I just walk out with this? <laughs> Will he get mad if I just go, excuse me? You need to pay for that, ma'am. What if I don't, though? Here, that'll be $5. $5, that's kind of a low price. What year is this? This shit's so expensive now. Trying to buy cat food is the fucking worst. Why, I like it, the bag just floating. We have no shadow. Oh, oh, it's a ghost doggy food. That's what we do in the shadows reference for all the homies. It's a ghost cop. <laughs> oh my god, I'm moving at like two. I'm, I'm moving at negative speed, actually. Time is bending backwards because of how slowly I'm fucking moving. I put it in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what do I got here? I got a skateboard. Oh, hell yeah. We can just skate our way out of here if we need to. That's good. All right, here. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to go back where you were. Oh, shit, shit. My skateboard. Eh. That's fine. Listen, the skateboard poking out. That's fine. All right. But yeah, that dude, that dude in the van was over by the car, right? Like, yeah, something fucky is going on with that. You like sabotage. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't get gas. How did you all not remind me to get gas? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I'm so far away. Oh, my fucking God. This is a disaster. Oh, God. It's a good thing I'm a man and most uh, dangerous experiences don't apply to me in day-to-day -day life. Because if I was a woman, I'd probably be dead already just because I'm stupid. The male privilege, you know, it's 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 everything that they say it is. Don't get me wrong; it's all it's all it's cracked up to be. Uh, but the main advantage of it is that I'm allowed to be a moron, and my life hopefully is not going to be in danger because of it. You ladies, you got it way rougher just because you guys stay sharp all the time, and and I'm not, even in video games. Okay. Of course, that said, I'm kind of like the John Mulaney thing, where it's like I'm constantly still worried about being kidnapped. All right. Oh, is this pump number two? Oh, that's pump number two. Oh, fuck me. Do I actually have to drive over to it? Oh, god damn it. But I move so slow. The only reason this game is 40 minutes is because of the pace at which we are walking. Oh, my god. We're, we're just waddling along. All right, here. We got to make a little loop. Okay, go, go forward. No. Turn. Turn. Pivot. Pivot. Trying to turn, but like the controls are wonky. Oh my god, just running over this man's yard. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh shit, shit, shit. Stop, stop. <laughs> A turn. Okay. <laughs> the killer just watching us do this. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't kill them. Him, oh god, they have they have a mental deficiency. I need to leave them alone. They they've been through enough. <laughs> Fuck yeah. See, driver's licenses are overrated. You can just figure this shit out on your own. There's a little far at first. Well, where's which side is the gas tank on? I don't see it on either side. The, little, the gas tank is not rendered, unfortunately. Am I still too far? Motherfuckers. Ah. The real horror is you guys have to sit through this while I try to figure out what the fuck to do. Okay, okay. That better be close enough, I swear to God. There we go. Mission accomplished. The credits just roll. <laughs> well, the tank was off on the road again. Nick, why do I feel like they're doing the van? Here's my here's my thought. Let's throw out some theories. I've never seen this game played before, so it's completely fresh for me. So I don't know if I'm right about this, but dude in the van saw us go down the road, saw us through the windshield, thought like, oh, cute girl. Oh, God, I think I'm hitting something. It's fine. If you hit something just a little bit, it doesn't count. Girl math. But um, he saw us going down the road and got all creepy about it. And then he flipped around to follow us. And then... I don't know why he'd be honking, though. That's the only thing that doesn't make sense. Um, based on the road, you do realize a thing. Beyond the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. What the fuck does that mean? And every single one of them just looks like you and me. Yeah? Okay, what does that mean? What, Mom? It's not expired or anything, right? I don't know. Shit! <laughs> Mom, I'm crashing the car. Stop texting me. You're being a bad influence. And the driving controls on this are none too precise. What the fuck is this music? 
Can I change the music? No. Oh, where are my headlights? Oh, we do have some more controls. I didn't realize. Oh, okay, hold on. We got a horn. I'm cut co lady coming through. Not today, bitch. You're a hitchhiker. I'm gonna fucking run you over. Oh, oh, shit, shit. My lights are flickering. I'm telling you, he like he got out of his van and he like cut our power line or fucked up the battery. Something bad happened. And now Oh, and is that I'm not doing that with the horn. I think it's just doing that automatically. Is that my car? Oh, is that what happened? He fucks him. Can I go past him? Will the game let me? No. Okay. Come back! Come back! Don't leave me alone. It's dark and it's pixelated and I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Can't see shit. Oh, can't see fucking anything. I know that's intentional. That's the point, but still. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, why is my horn going crazy? It's where he fucked up something with like my the electronics in the car or some shit. Rewired it so I would break down. Or maybe if I just keep driving and I run over the hitchhikers, I'll win the game. Who knows? No hitchhikers pop out of me. Oh, the honking. I'm so sorry, everyone. Yeah, where's the honking coming from? Is it it is my car, right? Oh, is this a dirt road? Oh, the bridge. The bridge where they said the murders happened. Oh, don't tell me the bridge is up. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I thought that was just a solid wall at first, but it's just the silhouette of it. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Until something pops out in like three, two, one. Creepy person. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I just gave you more gas. I don't know why we're honking so. Oh, well, the radio ain't working and we're almost out of reception range. It looks like. Okay, okay. Don't like this. This reminds me of driving home at night from my college classes to the middle of nowhere where I lived growing up. On the dirt road. Oh, fuck. I can't see. I'm going to crash. I was always scared because we had like a gate around like our, our property because it was in the middle of nowhere. And like a fence. So I had to get out in the middle of the night to unlock the gate. And that always scared the shit out of me because I was always like someone's going to be waiting. Right by the gate. I'm going to get out. And that's going to be the... Oh, a car. Nope. Nope. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Nope. I don't stop for nobody, bish. Fuck you, bunny. I was going to say, I'm sorry. Not even the hitchhiking bunnies. I don't stop for anyone. Oh, God. That radio sound. So far, the horror is coming out of the way it's assaulting my senses. Okay. We're going the right way. No left turn. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need a left turn. Am I supposed to be stopping any of those? I don't think so. Like, it feels like... Oh. Oh, no. The two big logs blocking the road ahead. Well, okay. Maybe I can go back to that little structure I saw to the side. Maybe maybe that will be okay. All right, here. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's haul back now, y'all. I still don't know if that honking is supposed to be like that or something my game is fucked up. I mean, the game already crashes when I just hit the start button, so maybe something's fucky. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, what is this little ramshackle nothing? Like... Okay, I guess we'll get out here. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Do we have a flashlight or anything? I don't think we do. Oh, don't. No one be in here, please. All right, I guess we have time to go walking out by the logs. Oh, this is going to take forever at the rate that we're walking, though. Hold on. I'm guessing we're supposed to get out right at the logs, right? Here, I'll drive up to the logs and then get out and see if I can just walk around them. Oh, yeah, I can go over it. Oh, shit. Now I'm walking. What the fuck? Like, this is one of those where I know I got to do it for the sake of the game continuing, but shouldn't have left the car behind. Shouldn't have left the car behind had to move logs. Oh, can I move them? Am I strong enough? Can I put my skateboard under them and, like, skate them away? Those were heavy. The fact that I can move these at all, I'm like, holy shit. Look at me. We're I'm fucking Wonder Woman. Look at this shit. Yeah, that's right. What the f- 
Oh no, I'm- oh, oh, you just click it once and then it goes. Weird. Sorry, the controls in this game are a little funky and they don't really- Like, they're simple, but you should still give a tutorial so that way players know what the hell is happening. Is that just me? My footsteps? I can't tell. I hate it. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. Okay. Car wouldn't start back up. Awesome. He did. He fucking sabotaged our car. That bitch. God damn it. Oh shit. Did that just put me back in? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. God damn it. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But what? But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Also, like, why was there a space between the I and the M? Sorry. Little flaws like that actually bug me a lot in games. Because I'm like, uh, throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, it drives me nuts when it's like, you could have patched that. This game has been out for how long? Like, two years? But that at that moment I had a choice. Sorry, I'm trying to read the lines and complain. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Don't worry, the killer is a minute away. He's been watching the whole time. This beautiful moonlit night. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, oh, when did we start? 10 23 p.m. How long have we been here then? Oh my god, we're still here? Holy shit. I saw a car nearing. Hide in the bushes! Hide in the bushes! Oh shit! Oh shit! He said, fuck you, bitch! Okay. Pure evil. <laughs> I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. Well, if they're all going to the same gas station attendant who's telling them to be scared, I mean... What is the light flickering on? Are the aliens gonna abduct me? Whoa. The jank, though. The 43 hour, about 20 minutes later. All right. This seems way rougher than the first one. Like, did they rush this one out or something? Because, like, like, it's fine so far. It's not atrocious, but, like... The honking, the, um, the lighting seems funky, the crashing, like, I don't know, I don't know. The spelling errors, like, it feels like there's a little bit of a lack of finesse. I don't, here, run me over. Oh god, oh god, oh god, he was about to run me over. How dare he, I didn't actually mean it. Oh, oh, never mind. Hold on. I'm taking my doggy chow with me. We're bringing our good boy some doggy chow, no matter what. Excuse me, it's just don't don't mind me, guy in the truck. I'm moving at a glacial pit. Uh, at a, <laughs> a glacial pace was what I was trying to say. Excuse me. It's been a long day, all right? I've been recording all day. I'm going to toss this in the back, you mind? Phew. Shit, shit. Sorry, sorry. That's on me. That's on me. I'm going to toss it in the back. Yippee. Should I load all my shit in the back here? That'd be funny. Can I... Oh, do I have to go around and talk to you? Should I not just get straight into his passenger seat? Would that be weird? You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Um, I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road. Like just at the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop on in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. He's going to steal all of our stuff. Oh, dude, why'd you have to park so far away? Oh, this is going to take fucking forever getting all my stuff. I might even leave the skateboard. I can't use it, so. All right. Holy shit, my god, walk faster. Please. Oh. Only had two hands. But, plus that, I already got the dog food. Thinking ahead, that's what I thought. Oh shit, it's getting all dark and cloudy. God, it's so fucking dark. I'm telling you now, I know this is gonna look like garbage on YouTube. 
I will probably try to brighten it up a little bit in post, but, um, there's only so much I can do when the game itself is so fucking dark. I've said it before, it bugs me, because I'm like, games, you can be high contrast and all that, but give us a little bit of light, come on. Is that everything? You need to hurry up, I don't have all day. Can you help me get my stuff? It's not safe to get out here. Okay, well, maybe I'm the killer. You think you're not safe because you're going to get out of the car, but you're really not safe because I'm going to get in the car and murder you. So I can get home and feed my dogs. Oh my fucking god. Fine, I'll make the trek all the way back. I guess chivalry is dead. I was going to say, bitch, if you drive off, I'm going to be skateboarding after you so fast. I'm like a Marty McFly thing. Alright, is this enough of my stuff? Do I need to even go back and get my hat? <laughs> do do do. Oh my god, y'all y'all get any more of them pixels? Y'all get any more of them light sources out there? God damn, was like what well, I think this was made in Unity, so I'm like, was Unity like was extra light sources illegal in this game? Is that all my stuff? Is that not all my stuff? Please, I just wanna leave. I just wanna go. I'm not getting in the car yet. Oh my god, please. I don't care. I'll leave all the rest of my stuff. I don't care. Alright. Give me my fucking hat. Alright, is there anything else? You just put that in the trunk. Okay. Oh my goodness. Was this all I had left was this fucking hat? I guess. I guess you wouldn't leave your stuff, but this asshole could have backed up a little bit so he was closer to the car. I mean, that's kind of dickheaded of him not to do at least that. Shaboink. There. Let me in, bitch. There. There. It's all in. It's all in. Um, I'm done. Finally, now, hop in, be quick. The murderers are about. Let me in. Can we listen to something? What does this stick do? <laughs> What's up, bitch? Yeah, get us out of here, handsome. So how long have you been driving for Uber? <laughs> oh, no, no, I was born without legs. I don't have a body. So you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? I'd rather not see if it's okay. I live really close from here. Um, I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. Ah? Jason. My name is Jason. Um, I'm... It's nice to meet you, Holly. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Gotta remember not to give away the name. No need. It's, it's nice to meet you. Let him volunteer the information. But maybe he's not the bad guy, and when we get kidnapped, he'll be all, the only one who could have said who we were. You're really lucky I had to, I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. Ah, uh, what's that? What's that? What's that, Chief? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Um, I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Good conversation. So, watch any good sports lately? Do you like Broadway tunes? So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Um, he's, he's funny. <laughs> Those funny stories. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Lumb to talk. So, is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are what? There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. That's fine. Can you go any faster than this jalopy? Like, I could walk faster than this. Not to complain about the hitchhike, but... You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm, I'm not the best with people. That's okay, Jason. I'm sure you're a charmer. Okay, can you watch the road, bitch? <laughs> just stare at you like this the whole time. Just staring at my eyes, just boring into the side of his head to make him uncomfortable. <laughs> it's 
12.08 a.m. All right, so what, like an hour later? After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Okay. Oh, 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 it's okay. Did you even double check to make sure I got in okay? Oh, this is going to be some psycho shit, isn't it? Like, some Bates Motel bullshit. Not approved, not approved for occupancy. You're telling me this guy left me here and there's a sign on the thing that says... People cannot stay here. Fuck me. Ah, give me my skateboard. Can I grab my stuff? Guess I gotta go in first. All right, fine. I'll make him. I'll make the bellboy get it for me. What a lovely place. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable, especially because he is identical to the man at the gas station. He's just hauling ass between all these places. Girl need a room to shock up for the night. I don't know why it's his voice, but um, how much? Uh, <laughs> how much is it for a room? 40 for single. Pay cash only. Okay. Room number nine, right over there. Uh, talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay, Borat, thanks. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. This is great. This is great. Give her $40 a night. This seems a little low. Um, all right. I guess I'll just leave all my shit there. Can I buy another drink? Why can I buy these? <laughs> is there a reason for this? Meat snack? Give me the meat snack. Yum, yum, yum. Lovely. Why is the package all like bloated? <laughs> Give me the meat snack. Give me the Soylent Green. Yes, just mm, mm, mm. Girl dinner. Okay, can I do anything else besides walk around at a snail's pace? They said not to disturb the guests, but what if I do? I could just go into any room, but I can look through their windows. Yeah, hi. My car broke down. Oh, you watching TV in there? I loved TV. Oh, ah, but I was... What are you watching? Just stand outside their door, heavy breathing. All right. I've almost visited all my new friends. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hello? 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 Oh, reception. Thank God. Uh, that I may have to stay in a motel tonight. That's, I know it's not great. Holly? Yes, mama? Don't worry, everything's fine. Oh, now it's no service again. That is the worst when there's no service, but every now and then randomly, like, something will come through, but then nothing you're sending out works. Couldn't just go into any room. I do like, um, that, like, that cliche of no service will soon be a thing of the past. You'll have to make a period piece. You know why? Because a lot of phones, at least iPhones I know, the newer ones, are making it so satellite calling is available for emergencies. Like, so that way, literally, you could be almost anywhere on the planet. And you could do a satellite call. I don't know if it's like cost extra money or there's like an upcharge or some shit for it, but who cares? In an emergency, being able to get a phone call out is vital, so. What the fuck is this? This is the bed? Yep, there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses. Yeah, that is a thing. I have gotten spoiled because like I'm the type, I'm like, I'd rather not go on a trip than stay in a really gross motel. Um, and so many think that's snobbery, like snobbery on my part. It's not, it's just that it doesn't feel like a fucking vacation. Oh, not the crouch mechanic. I hated that last time. That's how I saw the killer. Ugh, don't like. Um, I guess I gotta dress the bed myself, which is kind of fucking annoying. Ooh, creepy. No, no, okay, that's fine. Wait, am I supposed to sleep on here? There's no fucking mattress or anything. What the fuck? Is it this? Okay, no, I guess not. All right, let me in the bathroom. That's where the murder is. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Who are you? I'm gonna confront you. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. You did. You motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oh, it's Tommy. I'm Tommy. Room service here at the Roadway Inn. The finest stop over in Norwood. What are you doing here? You know. Cleaning stuff. I just washed my hands in the toilet. Don't mind me. Oh, uh, guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> it's like a Dark Souls character where they just laugh for no reason. 
I'm just going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. I'm on my way out, motherfucker. Can I use the phone? See that Tommy is scaring the shit out of me. Is that all you do is dial tone? Okay. Good, good talk. Holy shit. All right, where's all my stuff? Where's the entrance again? It's over there. God damn it, Tommy. Again, the, ah, uh, it's funny. The game is so janky, but it still works with that jump scare because they'll lull you in so you're not expecting it. Like, I really was not expecting anyone to be in the room. So I'm like, okay, well played, well played. All right, let me get all my shit. Please don't make me carry this all like I had to do the car, like the two hands only thing. Please. Oh, <laughs> Really need some energy, really need a soda. I gave you, you need another cola? I gave you a meat snack. What is your problem, Holly? Oh, okay, refreshing soda. Give me the refreshing soda. It must be good, it's $3. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Oh, goody. That's what happens, finally. Do I need to like chug a bunch of sodas and meat snacks so I can outrun the killer? <laughs> yeah, consume that shit. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, yo, Tommy. Fuck you for scaring me. Yeah, that's right, bitch. That's what you, right, that's right. Uh, that's right. That's what you deserve. All right. I, you know what? I was going to do it more, but I need to quit my packs. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's the sprint option. Okay. Okay. It must have been like mapped out to my, uh, my, my uh, controller wrong. So, okay. There we go. Holy shit. I'm so fast. Look at me. God, I'm like the flash. <laughs> Not because of that thing I did in college. All right, what, what? Stop staring at me, you weirdo. I had a word with Joe about the situation. Okay, and? What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I'd go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> But you have a good night. Excuse me, t Tommy. Tommy, no. Tommy, don't do it. Tommy, I don't want to go back. <laughs> uh, all right, Tommy. I'll see you later. Uh, Tommy, you still going? Yeah, he's just going slow. Okay. Oh my God, Ellie. Shush, shush, please. He's clawing at my door and screaming super loud. Okay, what the what what the, what the fuck is that? Is this supposed to be the bathtub? Is <laughs> yeah, look, there's our little shower amenities. What the fuck? He stole the tub. Oh my god, Tommy! You bastard, Tommy, for stealing the toilet. Like, at least we still got someone to shit in. But oh damn it, yeah, this game was like buggy as hell. Okay, well, yeah, what's on the TV? Oh. Oh, this must be some like old like uh public domain. Oh, the Fleischer. Yeah, that's so funny. I was just sorry, this is a weird tangent. I was just just seeing a thing on Twitter about Fleischer animation because So Paramount Pictures, weird trivia. This is such funny timing. So Fleischer Animation was a very talented animation group in like the 40s. Um so what was interesting was Paramount wanted to hire them to make I don't know if they had made Superman um animations and cartoons before but they, anyway they wanted to hire them to do that and they didn't want to they were like it's gonna take too fucking long and too much time so they so like the Fleischer company they were like just tell Paramount some absurd number like hold on I, I won't be able to like focus while this is playing hold on yeah, I gotta turn you off Superman I'm sorry but they were like you know what just give them some obscenely high number like so they told them like a million per episode back in the 40s and Paramount was like, um, no, we're not going to do that. We'll offer you half a million per episode, which was still way, way more than they were like would have ever gotten for any other work. So they took it on anyway, and it's like really beautiful, amazing quality animation. Anyway, look up Fleischer um, Superman animations. They're really good. All right. Oh, nice. Hold on. I should I should turn on the hold on. Hold on. Let me out. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, 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 hi. 
call it a force night, but there was something very off about this place. Off about this place? Someone was looking through the window! What do you mean something was off? And it sounds like someone's pissing in our fucking toilet. What is happening? Fuck that, man. I'm gonna put on Superman to comfort me. Making sure Tommy's not in here. Still a little disappointed about the tub, though. <laughs> All right, can I turn off the lights? What are my options here? All right. All right, I guess I should go outside is kind of what it probably wants me to do, right? And I tried the phone. That was no bueno. All right, I'll leave this blank so you have something to watch when we come back. Don't be outside. Don't be just to the right of me. All right, who the fuck? Yeah, someone was looking through my window. Um... Maybe I should go talk to the boss about it. Um, let's see. I forget. Oh, that's right. I can sprint. I have the ability to do so. You know what? I'm going to get me a little, a little juicy juice. In case I need to run faster. Yeah, give me the refreshing soda. Give me that shit. Oh, I'm going to be so refreshed. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Mm. Hell yeah. How fast am I now? Let's see. It's a... Oh, yeah, look at me go. Look at me. Oh, 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 oh. Track and field star. Athlete. Oh, look at that. Okay, not as fast as I thought I would be. That's fine. What's up, bitch? Oh, right over there. Room number nine. It is. Someone's looking through my windows. Do I not get to tell you about that? I guess not. Okay, never mind. It was probably just him staring at us. Probably nothing. All right. Just running across this parking lot. It's like the scene of Spongebob. It's like, ah, ah. <laughs> All right. Close that shit. Hey, there it is. Yeah, look how cool the animation is. Like, it looks really sharp and crisp and modern. And, like, there, it has a lot more shading and stuff than a lot of other animation from this era. I mean, there's a lot of good animation around this time. But, like, in particular, like, the use of lighting and effects and all that was really good in these. So, anyway... Weird coincidental bit of trivia is that I know a bit about the Fleischer cartoons. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only oh, only coffee would help me stay awake. Oh, that's what you wanted me to do. Game, just tell me that the first time. There was a coffee thing over on. It was like this corner that had like a little. Which also those like those coffee things must be terrible, right? Like, what is the bunker over there? Hold on. I just noticed the murder bunker. What the fuck is this place? Oh hell no! Fuck that. We're gonna be in there soon, missing some limbs or some shit. Um, espresso? What do you got? What do you got? Cappuccino? French vanilla? Uh, give me the cappuccino. Look at that. Look at that high texture, high resolution cappuccino. Consuming these items helps you stay awake. Oh, okay. So one's for speed and one's for alertness. Got it. Got it. Well, we don't really need this. It's okay. I'm coming back from a big event. I have cocaine in my bag, so... What what's happening? What did I do? Whoa! Don't drink the motel coffee. Whoa! Don't drink the motel coffee. Oh, and shit's all reverse. All the controls are backwards. Oh hell no! Oh, I'm I'm fucked up, my dudes. I'm fucked up. I'm tripping balls. There's fucking acid in the cappuccinos. What's up, Dad? Oh, I can't see. I've been drugged. God damn it. Roofied in the public cappuccino machine? This ain't even my room. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. See? This is why you bring your own cocaine. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Close that shit. Let's what? Yeah, let's watch some fucking cartoons on shrooms. I get it now. Oh, I'm crouching. I'm crouching. Look at this. This is the right way to watch these cartoons. It's high as shit. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I'm not really someone who gets fucked up on anything anymore. Like, I don't really smoke weed at all. I haven't for quite a while. I don't, I don't, I drink sometimes, but not very often. But I do remember doing shrooms once and watching um, Alice in Wonderland. That was, that was a fun time. Also, doing shrooms and then having, doing surround sound 
tests on my surround sound system in my living room. Very fun. Surprisingly fun. You wouldn't think it would be. Um, I was sedated. I know. That fucking sucks. And apparently everyone who drank the coffee there was sedated. So that's kind of bullshit. Like, how many grandmas were like, I need a little pick-me-up. Ah! Oh, he's in the closet. Yeah, what's up? Oh, cool. I'm talking with a purring cat. Tommy, is that you in the, um... Tommy, is that you in there? Oh, I don't want to get up. I hate this shit. I shouldn't check the closet, right? I should just try to leave. Didn't feel safe going out, but there's, 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 there's death in the closet. Um, I was going to say, it's, it's the front desk guy. Open the door. I'm going to do that. There's someone in the closet. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't. But also the coffee machine, something's wrong in it. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Goofy noises? Oh, God. What was done to me while I was roofied? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Yeah. Are you messing with me? Uh, no, we don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Did someone install that to roofy people? Fucking crazy. Okay, here, I've had enough of you crazy goons, for I once thought we had the sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. That's not my concern. Also, Joe, look. If I open this while I die, let's see. I'm squinting my eyes. Oh, it won't let me. Of course it won't. All right, come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. That's what Kamala Harris says when she's leading Joe Biden around. Come on, Joe. Come on, this way. Come on. Don't fall off the bicycle, Joe. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> also, could you spring for a little bit of light? Joe, come on. Pick up the fucking pace, motherfucker. Also, uh, oh, it's gone? Oh, fuck. How dastardly is that? To install a coffee machine. Put roofies in it and then leave it and then like then remove it so then no one believes you go back to your room i swear to god it was right here mm, what happened i said go back now i know why the accent keeps going from like borat to schwarzenegger says go back to your room right now there should be some medication in your room it should that should offer you some relief i left you some pills on the counter check the table by the tv I'm, are you offering me pills? What is this place? There should be some medication. All right, same same dialogue. Got it, got it. Just checking, just checking. Um, Can I get something to speed me up, though? Because holy shit, I'm slow. It's not even letting me sprint now. Oh, my God. What a fucking nightmare. Ah. Uh, I'm like, ladies, this is why. You got to be suspicious like... uh. Like a guy who thinks he's always being spied on, you know, like brings a flask everywhere so he doesn't drink anything that's offered to him. I was like, I remember a video of, uh, who was it? I think it was Ice Spice, I want to say. Um, is that her name? The little, the little, little tiny little rapper girl that's been popular lately? I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it's Ice Spice. But anyway, it was like someone bought her a drink and she was at like her like VIP section just having fun at the club or something. And, um... Someone brought her a drink and she like very nicely takes it and says thank you and is like really appreciative. But then she like hands it to someone behind her and they, I'm pretty sure they dump it out or whatever. I saw people being like, it's so fucking ungrateful or whatever. I'm like, fuck that. I'm sorry. At that point in your life, you like, and, and when you're that famous or whatever, you don't take random drinks from anyone. Like, I was like, that's not rude at all for her to do that. Can I turn the TV again? Oh, it's open. Fuck that. Should I just try to go to sleep? Oh, God, I don't want to go in the bathroom again. It's going to be... Is Tommy going to be back in the bathroom? Oh, God. Oh, God. He's going to be in there. Three, two, one, let's do it. Shit. Fuck. Oh, God, maybe he's not. Maybe, okay. Oh, God, I'm so stressed. Everything's so stressful. I can't see shit. Where are my pills? Oh, I took the pills. Okay, good. That's good, I guess. I'm not really. What am I saying? 
I've taken pills from a crazy motel owner who has a sign on the front of his building that says not for occupancy. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he gave me. Hopefully it's just like, it's like Tums and vitamin C. All right. No one look at me. Oh God, I'm fucked up. Damn. This is fine. I like this. Waiting for something terrible to happen. <laughs> what do you want from me, game? Should I get out of bed? What do, I, what do you want me to do? Do I need my skateboard to fend off the bad guys? Yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to... Oh, I can throw things. I can throw the dog food at him. <laughs> Alright. Please no one be out there. Right, I took the pills, so now what, what, what? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I guess I'm trying to go to sleep now, right? Is the idea like take the pills, turn off the TV? I'm assuming that's still not gonna work. Oh yeah, I'm still too fucked up to even read. Holy shit! Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Why are the blinds still up? What, what is happening? Do I need to go walk around for some reason? I don't know why I would, is the thing. Alright. Game, you gotta guide me a little bit. What the fuck do you want me to do? What is in here? What's it? Oh, pill oh, pills. There they are. They're in the drawer. Okay. Oh, that's what the water's for. Uh, d -d 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 -doy. I say did doy like any of this makes sense. Fuck, it's so dark. It's so I can't see a fucking thing in this game. I'm so sorry, everyone. Again, this is just how, it, how the game's set up, I guess. God damn game. People give, get some fucking light sources. And I think too, like, like, look, I get it. Indie development is a lot. A lot of these people are working by themselves or with really small teams, but literally like pro tip for if you need to um, figure something out that's not your wheelhouse, bring in a friend who knows. Like, like literally find like, even if you brought in like a, excuse me, <clears throat> brought in like a photographer who could just say, look, I don't, oh, do you taking pictures? And you're whispering, oh god, I heard that bitch. I charge for pictures. What the fuck? If you wanted to take pictures of my feet, you're supposed to fucking ask. Uh. Oh, I see ya. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! I hear you talking. I hear you saying hello. Please don't bother me right now. I'm high as shit, and I do not need anyone to talk to me. This is the worst, is being high, and you start to feel yourself getting high in public, because, like, just, just the feeling of being like, everyone around me knows. I can, the paranoia of, like, you're waiting for them all to, like, turn, like, in that scene in Get Out, where they all, like, stop and turn and stare or whatever, like. Oh, God, I kind of, I guess it's going to make me open the door, isn't it? I hear you saying hello. I'm gonna open this again, because there's like, there's a weird light coming from in here, and I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, is it gonna open the door right away, or will I have a chance to, like, talk through the door? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, who is it? Okay. Oh, please open the door, I need help. The fuck do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. No! Ow, fuck, no. I know you're the- yeah, you know I'm in there, I responded to you, but I really do not want to talk to you, and, like, no offense. Yeah, no! No! Please leave. I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. N that's not comforting either. This is when I was in Paris, when I was, like, 18, and I was out in the middle of the night because I was taking photos, and I was like, Oh, there's no- I'm never gonna die, no one would ever come after me, which, to be fair, Paris does have an extremely low rate of like, um, like violent crime, um, is extremely low. Like most people, like there's a lot of like petty theft and like people pickpocketing and all that, but mostly like there's not a lot of violent crime because there tends to be a lot of security around Paris. But there were still some guys who like came up to me, I was taking photos and were like, hey, would you like some candy? And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like you start with the most cliche pedophile line 
Also, I'm 18. It doesn't even count, all right? Like, you're, you're a terrible pedophile, all right? I know I look young. But he, like, was literally, and then, like, his buddy was like, no, no, don't give it to him. And I was like, what is he so nervous about? What is that? I still think about that. Because like, they didn't, weren't pushy or anything. Like, after that, they were like, all right, whatever. And they, like, left. But I was like, what the fuck? Like, maybe, again, for all I know, maybe they were just two shit-faced, um, drunk French guys who are like, hey, American tourists taking photos. You want candy? Like... I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. All right. Go away. I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Come on. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Superman, save me. Can I fucking hide in here? What do I do? Oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, fuck. No. God damn it. No. Oh, how far is it going to set me back? Don't tell me the game restarts with some bullshit. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck that. It... Hold on. Do not tell me the game restarts from the beginning. Hold the fuck up. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I might quit this video right now. I'd be so mad. Oh, the auto saved. Okay, thank God. Okay. I was about to lose my mind. Because, like, I get it. The first game was only, like, roughly 15 minutes long. So, that game, not having an auto save is kind of whatever. But, like, could use the rest. Okay. Uh, it's still kind of far back. But whatever, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to blaze through dialogue options. Yeah. How much room? Yes, yes, yes. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Let me catch back up to roughly where I was. And then we'll go from there. This is still way too far back to be starting for a game that has this much dialogue to do. All right, let's see, is anything fixed in here? Hey, hey, the bathtub, look at that. All right, hey, the bad news is we died. The good news is that we got new amenities. Tommy left the bathtub. He's a, he's a kind man this time. Decided to give us what we paid for. He said, $45, you get the bed and the sink. You want, an extra, you want the bathtub, you pay an extra 10 bucks. Um, all right, let's go get the laced coffee. Just an insane plot idea that he brings in this massive coffee machine just for one victim, loads this shit back into his car, and then and then the idea that that's why there's no money because it's free. He doesn't want to be like, well, what if they don't have what if they don't have quarters? How will I roofie them? Like this is such a weird plot. Oh, this is so goofy. Okay. All right, we got our coffee. We're all stimulated now. Oh, but we're not, though. We're all fucked up. <laughs> Sip Joe's through the window, by the window. That is where I'll be. Oh, tiptoe through the tulips with me. Oh, fuck. This is so weird using the controls backwards. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Damn, damn. Okay, uh... Oh, I'm leaning. I'm listening to start of it, Captain. Shit's fucked up, dude. Okay, so I go. Whoa. I go to sleep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let me in. Let me into bed, please. All right. And then, okay, this is the part where he's in the closet. And then we go talk to the owner, right? Okay. I'm going to try. Um, maybe we went into the bathroom. Maybe we're supposed to go in the closet. Maybe. I don't know, that doesn't feel any better, like maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll help. You know what I'm thinking would be interesting, because we're about to see the little creeper himself taking our photo in a second. Um, I took the meds, now we're gonna try to go to bed. Oh, up, oh, up! Oh. Bastard. Alright, let's leave, I wish there was a way we could like, leave the bathtub running and then close this door, because then like, maybe that would be the thing, we lock the door from the inside and close the door to distract him. And then we go hide in the closet. Maybe he wouldn't expect that. I don't know. I don't know. Just an idea that would make it like for an interesting gameplay. So I think, again, I think we just have to go hide though. It's the only other option I can think of. Because I don't think we can sprint past him without fucking dying. No. Oh, yeah, I hear you. I just don't like it. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Uh, Sure, buddy. No. God, I'm fucking stupid. Because I am. 
I know you're in there. Okay. Please leave. Please go where I'm calling the cops. Free lady, come on. Oi. Oh. I'm gonna do this. There, there, there. Oh, there's a microphone? Oh, thank God. My microphone's not hooked up to my computer, thank God. So I think it's like, it's smothering the, the microphone, like the built-in microphone in my computer. So that won't work, thank God. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, thank God. If I had my microphone hooked up directly to my computer, that would have been fucking terrifying. All right, I just need to make sure not to um open the closet, I guess. Where are you? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's going to go around. Maybe... Uh, I'm like, the only person to save us is Joe, and he's the worst, so... And what's that watery gurgling sound? Is he pissing in the corner? I don't think so, but... Oh, look at that stiff, creepy walk. He dies, my God. <laughs> Kill him, Joe. Kill yeah, Joe, sneaky. There you go. Cry chop in the neck. <laughs> Hit him with the Minecraft. Oof. <laughs> to this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to... The manager infer, inferred not to go to the police? The manager preferred not to go to the police? Wait. The manager inferred not to, not to get police involved. Oh, I'm reading that wrong. I'm so sorry. The manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motels. It, was, it would have affected motels' reputation and let go of the situation. Like, it is, it is, reads like a Borat sentence. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly, poss possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Tell me, what the fuck happened? I do not understand. I would never let this happen. Okay, yeah, there. Oh, yeah, well, we made it. We survived. We only died once. That's good. The other one, the first one, I died twice, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, I died. I died twice in this one, too, because I crashed the car at the beginning, so that technically counts as a death, but whatever. Same difference. Um, That was. The Norwood Hitchhike. And it was not great. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It had a couple good scares. Tommy in the bathroom was pretty terrifying. I'm not going to lie. But it just like, I feel like it doesn't trust to give the player more to do to try to get away with it. Like, I wish it just had more mechanics for us to try to be clever and figure out a way to distract the bad guy or something that lures him away. Something that makes like, I don't even know what like the like getting the drink to make us faster like what was the fucking point of that i don't know what the value of that would have been i was so sure that it was going to be like oh like a choose your own adventure kind of deal where it was like do you choose to buy a soda and put it next to your bed and then you could like you hear him knocking on the door and you chug the soda and then he walks by and then you sprint out super fucking fast right because you're so hyped up on caffeine like i don't know some as silly as that would have been i thought that was the vibe that we were going for and it kind of wasn't so it's it's not bad it's not terrible I do feel like it's pretty fucking buggy for being such a short experience. Like, it's only about, I mean, probably it's only meant to be 40 minutes. It's longer, I think, in this video because I was just talking so much, as I am wont to do. But it's just frustrating to see a game where it's like, this is such a simple game, and even as simple as it is, there's so many fucking errors. And there, it was it was cheap. It was only like two or three bucks. But the first game was free, and this one charged for it, and they couldn't even have someone proofread it to, like, make sure the dialogue was just wasn't full of spelling errors and glitches and all that and like that's the easiest thing to patch right like this game's been out for a while how is it possible that that has not been noticed like, did they not even play their own game through a uh, two or three more times to go oh shit there's a bunch of spelling errors all over the place and missing words and that kind of shit because i'm like it's just strange like because, like, look, I get, yeah, it's it's made in different languages. I don't know if the developers are native speakers. Like, that may be the case. But even so, it feels like if you have a community that's a fan of the first game, you could literally just be like, hey, do I have any solid English speakers who could double-check the dialogue in this game? I'll give you early access to it. Do I have any German speakers who could double-check the dialogue in this game and check it for spelling errors? You know, like, it's just, it's a little bit of work that you could do to make sure it's working the way it's supposed to be, you know? So, I don't know. It feels clunky it feels unfinished i have heard their later ones are actually quite good especially the i think it's like the ironwood lookout or something i've heard that one's very very good um and a big improvement so i will still probably try that one because that one seems cool um but 
I don't know. It's not my favorite, especially I feel a little spoiled because I played the other episode of um, Midnight Scenes. And episode two of that was great. It was so much fun to play. It had a good high concept idea. Such a similar thing as far as like very like relative comparatively simplistic graphics, intentionally so. Um, point and click kind of stuff, dealing with just dialogue that you're just reading, you know, it's not voiced or anything. But they built such a great mood without really using much of any jump scares or anything. But they set such a great Twilight Zone thriller sci-fi tone for midnight scenes that makes me so excited to play the other one, including there's actually a new midnight scenes at the time of recording this coming out in like a month from when I'm recording this video. So um, anyway, I will probably play more of these in the future because they are very cheap and there's no reason not to spend a couple bucks and try them out because they're why not? You know, good or bad. I think it's important to play things and watch things and consume media that is not always just amazing or what you think will be amazing because then you get to critique and go, OK, what didn't work? What were the flaws here? that could have been tuned up to make this a more satisfying experience. And I think we all can see the, the the cracks in the foundation on this one a little bit. But maybe the thing is, sometimes developers see that and they get feedback and they learn and they improve their future games. So I will always give people a chance for that because I know that creativity is it's an iterative process. You need to keep doing different versions of something and developing your style and technique and your skill set to make things better. So maybe that's what happened here. It, they were probably something a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more challenging, and maybe they learned from that, and they went on from there. Um, that's what I always kind of hope for with anyone who's doing creative work. That's that's my positive spin on a game that's kind of... It's okay. If, if you find... If it's available for a buck, you can make a friend play it. It might be fun or whatever, but otherwise, not the, not the best and brightest of the genre. But anyway, still fun to do. I'm so glad you guys were here. Thank you for sharing this with me. I've been having a lot of fun doing a lot more horror games because I am enjoying them a lot more than I used to. They used to just make me stressed unpleasantly, and now I'm stressed but having fun, and that's a much more enjoyable experience. So thank you for that. Hopefully you're having the same experience as well. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>